How do you feel about these fights uh, here in Halifax? Man, it's going to be exciting. Ryan Brzezicki is back, even though his uh, opponent kind of pulled out. We got another guy who's ready to go, and uh, this guy's a beast. I looked him up on YouTube. I was like, Jesus. But, uh, you know, Ryan is also a warrior and a beast, and he's an intimidating guy. I wouldn't want to be in the ring with him, buddy. He's going to do some business for sure, Saturday night. Nice. Is there anything else, last you want to say to the Halifax fans or, you know, fans around? Hey, uh, Halifax, Saturday night, the form is going to be on. Do not miss it. This is our first show, Three Lions Promotions in Halifax. You cannot miss it. Get your tickets at viewstub.com, threelionspromotions.com, and uh, hope to see you there. It's going to be a great night of professional boxing, world-class boxing. I've got the moose, the moose, Woo. the moose. I'll give everyone a big part. We're not from here, so we're going to Yeah, I know, I'm not from here. Ah! 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 Hi side Cal. This yeah, yeah, yeah. far side. Are you sure I should be lane. driving? I fucking drive. inside to you. Yeah, he's well, alright. He's, 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 he's just driving in four bed Jora, bro. He's <laughs> alright. Don't know what to do. But what I should say. Gotta make up my mind before night turns to day. It's behind the bands, cause my country boy had a trailer. Taking off face, grandma raised me. I'm from the west side where it gets sticky. Uh, what's the pre-fight meal? Nothing. <laughs> I don't know. Nothing from here? Nothing. Cheeseburger with french fries. Yeah. I got weight on me. I'm 205. I'm big right now. I've been eating. Here with the legendary two-time two -time? world champion Cal Brook. Not two times. No, I can now. He just drove us here the first time uh, on the other side right, of the road. What? Probably a brand new bag. Woo! <laughs> what do you think of Halifax so far? Yeah, I love it. You know, I like it. I like the people. A lot of energy in town. Everyone's buzzing about the fight Saturday night. Right, we think you're talking about. Looking forward to it. We come all the way from Sheffield, England. To support our bike. Right. Perfect. Do you have any predictions on Ryan's fight? You just need to oh, yeah. stick to his game plan. The bacteria. He's stepping up to heavyweight, so he's oh, got to be clever in this fight. You don't need to go and stand and have a war with him. He likes to have a war, but he needs to box clever, boxing, you know, and fighting when he wants to fight. And when that guy wants to fight, he wants to box. You know? He needs to hit his body, he needs to go down to the body uh, and break him down to the body. And then he, uh, he can start stepping up and start taking, his, taking him apart. I'm Steve, I'm from Sheffield, come across with Cal. Cal my boy. We've, uh, we've come across for the box. Why'd you get all serious since, in this since, interview, man? How long have the fun, man? Keep it lit! I thought when I fell. Yeah. No. <laughs> all right, all right. What do you think of Halifax in your first time here? It's fucking mental. <laughs> See these, are you? Oh, you see these? Look at these, look at these. <laughs> see them? <laughs> Get them we're on. getting right up them in a bit, I'll tell you. That's what we're doing. <laughs> yeah, coming from there. So I, I worked my whole life to fight in this city, the main event in this city. Where I'm from, five hours from here, Cape Breton, small little island. This is the big city of our province. Yeah, this, right? this is this is this is, I, this is London. Halifax, Halifax is where they turn 15 rounds to 12 rounds with that brutal. That's it. That that big fucking, the biggest fights that were ever held in Canada were held in this form, this Halifax form. Great, you know. I uh, just want to spend, send a, a special thank you to Tribal and my team for helping me prepare. It's been great, multiple fights back to back, so I'm ready to do some damage and I'm ready for battle. It's gonna be a great night. Nice. Uh, you just met your opponent face to face. What was your thoughts? Looking forward to a good fight. I think it's gonna be a real good scrap. Styles make fights. I never make a prediction. I never make a prediction on anything. I just make a prediction that he won't touch me and he won't hit me. And at the end of the day, it's a fight. A fight is a fight. You know, 
look at my track record, look at his. Um, I'm pretty effing good. I'm pretty effing good. <laughs> I'm pretty effing good. I'll say it one more time. I'm pretty effing good. Ask Brandon Brewer. He'll tell you. I'm pretty effing good. <laughs> I feel strong and confident uh, in terms of this fight, but having it at the form itself is uh, major for me because I grew up hearing about uh, iconic fights in here, like Clyde Gray, the Kid Howard, um, geez, so many other names. There was big, huge fights here, and it's an honor, honestly. Being from Dartmouth, the Halifax area, it's an honor to be fighting here. I got goosebumps right now thinking about it. Nice. Just stepped in the building. How was your training camp, friend? Went real good. Got a lot of sparring in, worked on a lot of different things, learned from my last fight, so I'm ready to go. Is there anything you want to say out to the Halifax fans? Don't blink, because he's going to be a fast one. Okay, perfect. The game plan changed since the uh, opponent has dropped out. Is there anything that you've had to really focus on to change, Ryan? And uh, if so, let us know. Uh, let the fans know and the, and the people here. Yeah, so uh, going up to heavyweight uh, changes, try not to get knocked out, because, uh, you know, with, uh, with cruiser rates, I can kind of walk them down. Uh, my defense, you know, it's always got to be on point, but with heavyweight, i got to be that much more alert. Um, this guy can punch. I know he can punch because I've, I've been in the ring with him. So, you know, he's got the ability to knock me out. So, you know, going to have to uh, be aware of that and fight smart. Um, thank you for having me. Um, I've trained real hard. Good, good sparring partners. Uh, I'm super prepared. Very, very good training camp. And uh, I think Kyle McNeil is going to be a little surprised when he sees what a, a quality fighter is actually like. Um, I, I don't think he's fought anybody on my level. He's fought Tyson Cave, and that's, uh, that's a good opponent on his record. And uh, other than that, I, I don't think he's been in there with a fighter as tough as me. The only thing is I have to say is, you guys don't set this kid up. You guys made an effing mistake, because I'm a nightmare. Now, where's this coach at that I don't even know who the hell his coach is? His coach ain't here, Tyson. I don't know where he is. I don't care, because I don't know him. But for him to say, to doubt me, to say he doesn't think that Tyson Cave has in him still, does he know who the hell I am? I am the nightmare of fucking boxing. Ask Kyle McNeil. Ask Kyle, can you train for me? And Kyle's a good guy. And Kyle's better than the guy that you put, that you put me up against. For him to doubt me, are you crazy? You know what I do? I don't know what I'm gonna do. So how are you gonna know? Plain and simple. You messed up, Dan. You put this kid in with me. He's supposed to be a young kid. It's over. I'm telling you guys. Well, listen, Dan, you're in Halifax. We like, we want fights. We're right, all our guys fight. If you're with three lions, you fight. Everyone knows that. There's no easy fight. You're supposed to protect your guy. No, no, no. We don't protect nothing. Nine we and protect. one. It's gonna be nine and two. He's eleven and one. But still, I guess. I don't know. I can't count. <laughs> so Tyson. I just know how to count my box record. Thirty-six and three. And they ripped me off two fights. What do you think the weight's going to be at on Zemeck? I hope it's at 216 like we've agreed to, but I'm skeptical until I see it. What do you think Riziki's at? Probably 202, 203. Can't imagine he's much above that. He'd probably be 195 when he gets in the ring. This is our opening attraction tomorrow night live for the Halifax Swarm. Only action presented by Three Lines Promotions. Otoweki and Book Ray are going to the fans. So first, it's Mexico versus Uzbekistan. Tomorrow night, eight rounds of the night. Heavyweight division. Eight rounds of action of the waterway to which is tomorrow night. Rush to the McNeil. All the talk right here tomorrow night. Yeah, Pedro. It's on inside the ring for the yeah, Halifax War.
This is your main event attraction, 10 rounds of a heavyweight division tomorrow night for the Halifax form. Let's give all of our fighters a big round of applause. Man, I'm excited for, for the whole card. I mean, it's good for Nova Scotia. I'm excited for, uh, you know, Three Lions to, to bring this back and put it at the, the level it's supposed to be here in Halifax. Um, uh, they deserve it. The history here and uh, for Ryan to headline it, that's, you know, the icing on the cake. Uh, as far as the opponent change, I'm excited for it, you know. Um, I think it's going to be more exciting fight than the original opponent. Um, for the fans, for, for Ryan, for, for his whole team, and uh, you know, for Halifax, it's, a, it's, a, it's what they need, and uh, they're in for a hell of a show. So, yeah, it's definitely a don't blink type of, type of fight, so. Last thing, you got a fight coming up in two weeks. Is there anything you want to say? Uh, yeah, Niagara Falls, June 24th, uh, right, ice cream scoop, I will see you very soon. How's it feel making weight, buddy? Oh, wow, I come in, I come in! <laughs> That's a good one. Uh, so we're just here, uh, Pedro's grabbing some food to refuel. Um, professionals sign a contract and they make weight. As you can tell, this guy's excited to eat. Um, our opponent came in 11 and a half pounds overweight. Uh, super unprofessional. Also a sign that uh, they didn't take training serious. So uh, we're looking forward to still taking the fight and uh, putting on a show for the fans. To the Halifax fans. I'm looking forward to it. Looking forward to the ring walks, the crowd, the energy, the atmosphere. Should be good. Uh, big, shout, big shout out to the uh, East Coast fans. Uh, I know you guys like uh, like your fights, and uh, you got two action-packed boxers uh, fighting in the main event and the co-main event. Other than the co-main event, the main event, what other fights are you guys excited to see? That Beaton versus Mikhail Miller seems like it should be pretty fun, and then the opening fight. I forget their names, but the one guy apparently is either going to crack or get cracked. What's his name? DK versus Drake. <laughs> yes. yes, that looked very interesting, and then. Uh, It'd be nice to see this Arthur in the ring for the first time in two years.